make a big noise playing in the street gonna be a big man someday you got mud on your face you big disgrace 2012 belt buckle bonanza ring a prospect steer show is now beginning we've got the champion american beef cross coming into the ring that's miss kaylee smith up next will be the champion brahmin shown by kylie patterson followed by the champion brangus shown by abby christian next is the champion Santa gratuitous from trey gutierrez followed by the champion simbra from callie ellis next will be the champion angus from peyton herzog followed by the champion red angus here momentarily that'll be the uh, calf shown by Skylar Shirts. Following that, we'll get into those Herefords. We've got the champion Hereford coming up next. That'll be shown by Kennedy Wooten. Followed by one of our favorites, the champion Paul Hereford, sh shown by Colton Shackelford. That's a really good calf. Coming up next is another one of our favorites, that champion Shorthorn, shown by Colton Carwile, sold by Brian Martin Show Cattle. I believe that Paul Herford from Shackleford was sold by Bonham Show Cattle. Up next is the champion Charlay, shown by Col Colton Shaw. That's another one of our contenders for the top five in our mind. Up next will be the champion Key, Cannon Goodson, another one of those contenders uh, for this uh, top five pick here in the champion, uh, the, the ring A of the Prospect Steer Show at the Belt Buckle Bonanza. Obviously also that ABC up front is one that we liked awful well earlier in the day. He's a really unique calf for uh, an ABC prospect. As you see moving down the line, we're waiting on those last few breed champions to make their way. Uh, down here in Texas, as uh, Matt Papelka had told us, uh, this is a 16 breed format when you get into the prospect show. So we'll have 16 breed champions out here. Uh, we've got, uh, I believe, 12 of the 16 in here now. Coming up next is that champion uh, key there. That is Cannon Gitson coming there. A little bit late to the party. Coming behind that is that uh, butterscotch colored calf from Kaylee Smith, the champion limousine followed by the really, really stout uh, eye candy sired steer there from Justin Rico. He'd be champion Maine, sold by Troush and Bonham. That's a really good looking calf. He'll certainly be a contender out here in the top five for the prospect division in ring A. Followed by that should be Connor Chambers with the Troubadour sired Simmental champion. That one's a really unique calf for sure. Doesn't have quite the hair coat as some of the calves that bookend him, but uh, as far as build and type, that one's made about as good as you can make one. And then finally, the Monopoly Sire Champion AOB, shown by Stock Martin, uh, out of that great cow owned by Sullivan, Ryman, and Martin, uh, placed by Brian Martin. That's a really, really good one up there. You'll see him here momentarily a little bit better. But that one's uh, about as unique as you can make one. Really, really sound, big bodied, really good fronted. And that one's just got the look of a, of a champion, that's for sure. Obviously, the full siblings, I believe, won the Iowa State Fair last year for the Jorgensen family. And then the Reserve National Champion steer in Louisville for Ashton Geyer. So that calf certainly got the power in the blood, as you see him there to the right of the screen there. Um, then there's that ABC that we like awful well. I believe that one was sold by uh, Bonham and uh, Ryan Rash. That one's extremely well built. Big bone, super huge foot. Really good looking ABC there, followed by once again that Brahmin, and then the Brangus. We got those uh, American breed cattle up front out of the 16 breed format, but uh, as you can see, this is a really, really stout set all the way through here in Ring A of the Prospect Steer Show at the Belt Buckle Bonanza here in Waco, Texas. Once again, I'd like to thank all of our sponsors who make this coverage possible. We really appreciate their continued support. Of course, our supreme sponsor, Sullivan Supply, the innovative leader in the show supply industry. All of our corporate sponsors, Executive Sires, Fatsteer.com, Quaker Hill Farm, Willow Springs Club Cavs, Garwood Cattle Company, Morgan Stanley Smith Barney. I really appreciate all their support. Uh, really helped make the difference. And obviously our show sponsor, Troush Farms, uh, up there in Iowa. They've got a great bull battery, so be sure to check out TroushFarms.com. As you can see, these calves getting on the profile. There's the champion Angus from the Herzog family, the champion Red Angus from Skylar Shirts. There's the champion Herford from Kennedy Wooten, champion Pold from Colton Shackford making the turn. And then as you pan down through the line, you see the shape and power of these calves. There's that Rico steer by Eye Candy, super big back, big old hip. There's the Troubadour from the Chambers family. And then finally down here on the end, we should see that Martin steer here momentarily. That one's really good looking. Really hits you hard from the side, as you can see. They're really up and high out of that neck shoulder junction. Back to that chamber steer that's just super big hip, really good bodied. That one's built great for a slick shear show down the road. He'll be a contender for sure. 
as uh, he continues throughout his life. As you see, our judge, Gerald Buck from Adele, Oklahoma, judge of Ring A here today, done a wonderful job, really gets the job done, finds the right ones here all day long. He'll have a great selection uh, for top five for sure with these breed champions in contention. But uh, he does a wonderful job as always, and certainly look forward to hearing his comments and seeing how he places his top five here in Ring A at the Belt Buckle Bonanza. As you can see there, he's looking at that super unique Hereford there from uh, Colton Shackelford. Super big hip, big bone. Really sets the ground on an ideal set of feet and legs. But uh, certainly that calf will be a player in the top five in my perspective. As well as the calves there behind him. That short horn and that charlet. Back to the key there you see Justin Rico turning his main steer around. That's a really powerful individual as well. It'll be super tough here in the top five. We'll get down to some really tough decisions for our judge, Gerald Buck. I would suspect he's probably got a few in mind already, but uh, to split these hairs, it's going to be awful tough. There's some really good ones. And that ABC, as we said earlier in the day, he could be a contender. We'll see what our judge, Gerald Buck, has to say here. Well, first off, I, I just want to say uh, thank you to uh, everyone that invited me or that was involved and invited me down here. And, and just to go along with what Sharice said, uh, that's, a, that's a pretty, it's a great woman that you're honoring with this show. And I had the honor of knowing her, and, and uh, I guess I had the honor of getting snapped in line by her a few times myself. So I can relate to all that. And she was a, she was a, uh, huge uh, impact on this program down here and it's a it's just an honor to be able to come down and get to evaluate the cattle at the Buck Buckle Dance. I came for 20 something years and was involved in, in cattle that were showing in the show and I'll be honest with you that that point it never crossed my mind that I would ever be the one who was out in the ring and evaluating the cattle. And it, it is an honor. It's an honor to be involved and, and uh, this show uh, uh, is a special point uh, to all of us. Most of us, we all hate it coming because we knew it was going to be hot. We knew it was going to be crawling underneath these things for two or three days. And, and we hated it. We hated it, but we couldn't wait to get here. And I'm going to say most of the exhibitors here are probably the same way because we did it. I mean, you know, it's a commitment. Uh, number one, I realize when you, you start off in the spring deciding you're going to go walk the hands, if you don't grow this hair last week, you just show up. It's a commitment. So I know each one of you have committed to this show to come. And I know there's other shows you go to, but this is the one of them that you really want to win. And uh, so I know that from that standpoint, and I know from being out here in the ring and sort of, uh, I'll tell you what, I, I'll be the first to admit it. Uh, it's tough. I mean, it's tough to get them put together when they're that good. We have some classes. We got we got steers that won't have a chance to be in this top five that are that are good enough to be in the top five. And you know, I hate that when those guys go back to the barn because I've been in that position before and I know what it's like. But it's just an honor to be here. I have a daughter that uh, went through all this program, and, and uh, she uh, she would love to be here right now. But she's at the Herbert Junior Nationals in Nebraska, and I, I believe in this program. I mean, as you as parents, I know it's expensive to come and spend a week here, uh, be involved. But I promise you, you'll never ever regret it. I, I was just telling them, I, we took Bailey to Dr. Robin Stillwater last uh, summer, and uh, for still we was coming home, Bailey and Brenda was bawling and crying, and uh, I was laughing at her, and she got up to me, and I told her, I said, you know, if there's ever a point in your life that we did the right thing by showing cattle, it's the day. Because from these cattle, the people that she knows, the things that she knows, she knows what it's like to walk and forget from me. She knows what it's like to break down. She, she, it's all the people that are involved and all the things you do to this program that sets the stage for life. We're using these cattle to grow these kids. And there's not a better avenue in the industry than any other, any other activity, uh, period, that these kids can do. So you're doing the right thing. We all want to win. I want to win him as bad as anybody, so I, I can relate to that. But I'm just telling you, you're doing the right thing. 
just keep it pushing on your kids and go and, and enjoy it. And the kids, they'll back to think on that. I promise you, it's not easy for them either. It costs a lot. All these guys crawl around there and eat these things all day long. They're expensive. I make some of them too. I know what that's like. But they're all part of our program. And they're great people. And so just be proud of what you got. And we, we've got it good. Sometimes we don't think we do, but we've got it good. But these guys, get back to the guy and get off of that. Other thing I'm going to say is about Chris Mullinex. I told him last night we ate supper. I told him, I said, you were always the young guy. And now that I guess I'm the old guy, he's starting to be the middle-aged guy. But he's kind of starting off. He's got, he's got a baby coming. And uh, my baby is graduating. So, but it's an honor to be involved with somebody like Chris. And Chris and I, we actually enjoyed the last night. We discussed the progress show. And we both understand that it doesn't mean that one guy's right and one guy's wrong. We understand that it's, it's okay. I'm glad you, there is swap from one ring to the next. Uh, but the cattle are that good, and those things are going to happen. We've got a great set of prospects out here. I'm sure there's going to maybe be major show champions that went back to the barn. Uh, and, I, and I understand that. The cowmen around here, though, I like And that's all that they asked me for was for my opinion. In my opinion, they're good. It doesn't matter where you want to start out, and you start with a good one on this end and go all the way down. They're good. I like them. That's the only person I had to please, and I'm going to go home happy with what I'm doing. I want to scratch my head a little bit here in the next few minutes when I go to pick these top five. But this is a great set of cattle, a great program. Let's give all of you a round of applause. I'll go pick you some chances. One more thing that I could not, absolutely could not have done without today, these two young ladies right here, and give them a round of applause for today and give them work. And I about skipped them, and I couldn't have done it without them, I promise you. They, they were great. Before we select our grand champions and top five in ring A of the Prospect Steer Show, we'd once again like to thank all of our Livestock World coverage sponsors, including our supreme sponsor, Sullivan Supply. Be sure to check out SullivanSupply.com. All of our corporate sponsors, Executive Sires, Quaker Hill Farm, Willow Springs Club Calves, Morgan Stanley Smith Barney, FatSteer.com, and Garwood Cattle Company. And also our show sponsor, Troush Farms. Thanks again to all of our sponsors. As you can see, Gerald Bucks completed his comments. He's ready to make his final decisions here on the top five. He's going to make one last quick look down through this incredible 16-breed lineup here at the 2012 Belt Buckle Bonanza and Ring A of the Prospect Steer Show. Uh, as you look at these top uh, calves down here on the end, uh, it's certainly going to come down to that AOB, that mane of Justin Rico, the Simmental of the Chambers family. But it uh, looks like that AOB may be the one as Zero Buck moves that way. That calf, once again, shown by Stock Martin, uh, sold by Brian Martin. And, yes, it's going to be Stock Martin to be grand champion steer ring A at the 2012 Belt Buckle Bonanza. A really, really good one right there. Once again, sired by Monopoly. And out of that prominent donor cow that uh, calls uh, Sullivan Farms as well as Ryman Ranches and Brian Martin Show Cattle uh, as the owners of that great cow. Uh, that one raised the champion at Iowa State Fair last year as well as the reserve national champion Louisville for Ashton Geyer. So certainly a very uh, prolifically bred calf there. Certainly got the power and the blood as we said earlier. Congratulations to Stock Martin. We're looking at the rest of these stout calves here coming into reserve contention from that AOB, AOB division, I believe, is uh, Caitlin Doskasil with her smoke steer there. But... Uh, as you look down the line here, we've still got several calves in major contention. That Simmental there from Connor Chambers, uh, that Maine from Justin Rico, that uh, Herford from Colton Shackelford. Uh, those really look good. And obviously, that uh, ABC up front, if he can get a, a piece of the action, is a really good one brought to you by Kaylee Smith. But it uh, looks like our judge has made his mind up. He's moving towards that Justin Rico steer. That'll be reserve grand champion, uh, prospect steer ring A, Justin Rico there with a cast sired by Eye Candy. Sold by uh, Bonham Show Cattle uh, and Troush Farms. So congratulations to Justin. That's a really good looking one there as you see him go away. Super big bodied square. Really sound. Gets out and goes. Takes a long athletic stride. That's a really good one there. 
Coming in the reserve will be Jonathan Michael Nolte with uh, reserve champion main steer, raised by Brandon Horn. Uh, Horn Livestock there in Abilene, Texas. That one's super, super stout. Big hip, super big back, as you can see there. Really heavy muscled calf. As you see Judge Daryl Buck up there looking towards that ABC. Now that one really super unique for uh, that breed division. Certainly will be a major player at this show for top five, as well as, as we suspect, down the road at Fort Worth next year. Certainly that one was Matt, that was one of Matt Papelka's favorites. As you see, it looks like our judge has made his mind up moving towards that Michael Nolte steer. Uh, that one's really good looking there, as you can see. And yes, it's going to be Jonathan Michael Nolte, super powerful calf, super big barrel. That one's really got the look of a calf that could go for a haired show or a slick show, being so heavy muscle and built so good from the ground up. So congratulations to Jonathan. Calf once again raised by Brandon Horn there at Horn Livestock. We've got two spots left, fourth and fifth. Certainly it probably gets a little bit closer here. Going to come down to that reserve AOB, probably that champion semi, champion key, that champion charlet. The short horn looks awful good, and you certainly can't forget the pole Hereford there. But our judge is moving back towards the AOB and the semi steer. Um, those two calves look more like slick share oriented, but certainly uh, really, really good in their kind. But uh, that semi steer wanting to be a little cantankerous there, not wanting to quite strike the pose, maybe getting a little bit tired. These cattle have certainly been up for a while. It was a long show here today. But uh, that one really starting to, to hit his spots there, there now. And yes, it's going to be, I believe, Connor Chambers for fourth overall champion Simmental, a calf sired by the popular Troubadour. Raised by Luan Cabal, I believe. That's a really good one there. So congratulations to Connor Chambers. Fourth overall Ring A Prospect Steer Show at the Belt Buckle Bonanza. So we've got one spot left in Ring A. It's going to come down to uh, several calves there that are all sort of in that vantage point right there. The Pole Herford, for the Shorthorn, the Charlet, the Key, the Lemmy, the Reserve AOB. There you see the Reserve Semi coming in. I believe that's... Uh, uh, Mills Meyer there, if I'm not mistaken. It's a good-looking calf there. Probably giving up a little bit of horsepower out there. That calf's a little bit uh, uh, greener as compared to some of the competitors that uh, stand there in front of him. But certainly he's built really, really good. It looks like Gerald might have made his mind up moving towards that pole Hereford. And, yes, it's going to be Colton Shocker for champion pole Hereford. So there's your top five. Congratulations. A great show here at the 2012 Belt Buckle Bonanza. Fifth overall was the champion pole Hereford by Colton Shocker. That concludes ring A of your 2012 Elk Local Bonanza.